Hello everyone, welcome to day 8 of our 30 days challenge. Uh, today's um, project, well not project, we're just going to finish our uh, Media Soup um, uh, crash course off. Okay, today we're going to do uh, the consumer, uh, or consume, or consumer, uh, the stream for Media Soup, otherwise it's subscri subscribe from the client side and the server side. Okay, and sorry to those who's been waiting for this because I haven't done a video since probably last week. And I just had a really flat out week and sorry, sorry about that and I'd like to apologize. And for those who are new here, uh, please um, consider subscribe to my channel. And uh, our, my channel is basically um, concentrate on WebRTC tutorials. Okay, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thing, I'll just take a couple more min minutes of yours. Uh, uh, the next um, project we're going to look at is a Flutter project. Uh, mesh um, app okay uh, it's a cross-platform basically and the server side we're going to use uh, uh, Dart as well so we can do the whole stack with just one language and I hope that I hope you like it and yeah once again please subscribe and uh, if you consider to uh, support this channel you can do so by hitting the um, patreon um, link either below or on the right right hand upper corner Okay, thanks very much, and let's get started. All right, let's go to uh, open our terminal and let's open those projects. Okay, let's open both of them like as we do normally. Oops, can't spell. Client. Open that, and also let's open the server as well. Okay, the, there's a couple of things we need to fix on the server side first. Okay, let's get ourselves organized first. Um, let's do it like this, eh? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix up the client side, okay? Um, because this part here uh, is wrong, okay? Let's fix that. Sorry about that, because I noticed that after I did the last video, because we, we shouldn't listen to that, okay? That should be message. Okay, and then we're going to um, do what we did above okay uh, before we do that i'll leave that here okay uh, let's go up there and copy this this part okay we need to do the same thing uh as i said you know um if you write in production uh this is really ugly code uh, it's not the way to do it okay yeah there's a better way to do this but to show you uh this is the easiest way you know to show you, you and under, understand what's going on so i choose to do this okay you could use socket io because socket io does have the callback then you don't need to listen to this thing again when you're here uh, another option is you put this callback into a variable or uh, if it uh, into a variable and then you you call it um uh, add another event here to listen to it and then call it here uh, that could be a way to do it but I'm going to show you this way, uh, okay? So basically, we, we're doing this thing again, okay? Uh, when the message comes, we want to listen um, to it, and we'll do a if statement, okay? If uh, response uh, equals to this, oops, sorry, not that, equals to this, okay, then we do the callback, all right? And this is the this is the right way because the last one um, I just called it callback down the bottom um, or perhaps I didn't even show that because I did it after the video because it looked uh, kind of strange. So now this should work as it should. Okay, so we fix that little thing here. All right, uh, then now we will move on to the next thing. Now we should be able to publish. Okay, uh, to prove that let's let's try that try that. Eh? Uh, okay, we got our server and we will go sorry about that it's been a few days i need to look at what what it was okay it is def so yarn def <coughs> start up the server and how about the client uh it is yarn start okay um, start okay now you should we should be able to uh, without doubt we should be able to publish our local stream well only way to find out okay let's do the log okay oh i know what it is hold on here we go stupid me it has to be a type okay because remember up here we have to like check the response type that matches that so we need to do the same down here all right 
and we listen to that and then we do the callback okay once we get a response by our server okay because then we cut the server and we have to restart it again because it need the the type the quote the code has to be re um compile again okay this time it should work all right cool okay uh sorry about that always forget this one all right now we confirm the client um, publish uh, function is working uh now let's carry on on um our the rest of the project okay let's stop all these we don't need these running right now all right now let's start with the client side okay let's maximize that uh hide that okay we don't need that so we get more real estate you you can see a bit clearer like that okay on the client side uh, the next thing we need to prepare you know to kick this off is the subscribe um function which is this guy here okay let's get rid of that and we'll call it we should really call it consume but hey uh, i think subscribe makes more sense than consume um, oh, sounds sounds better anyway all right so what we're going to do here is we start off um the subscribe um function okay uh because that starts everything else okay it's it's like a chain okay we need to call this then we get the rest of the events Okay, what we're going to do here, uh, we will go down to, uh, where should we put this? Let's put it down at the bottom somewhere, eh? No, let's put it with the publish function. Uh, where's our, here we go. Let's, let's put it below that, eh? So, cons, subscribe, equals that. Okay, to start off, uh, we need to, um, disable the button of the subscribe so let's grab that button which is that there okay if you still remember okay we've referenced it up the top okay we true we disable it so prevent the user double clicking this okay the next thing we're going to prepare is our message to send to our server okay uh, let's do this uh, the type uh, what should we call it uh, let's call it create consumer transport okay that's what we need to do uh, remember media soup every time we do either publish or uh, subscribe we need to uh, create a transport first okay which is uh, equivalent to a uh, what you call it um, uh, peer connection okay I said that in the last um, uh, one, one of the videos I can't remember which one okay faults we're not gonna force uh, TCP okay because uh, UDP is uh, way more effective okay for this type of uh, usage okay and the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, stringify this okay message json dot stringify msg okay and then we're going to send it off to the socket okay socket send uh, message okay that is it for this okay now we need to go to server okay and make this guy here and we're going to link it up uh, we're going to go, go uh, uh, backwards and forwards okay um because that way it's way easier than you know i said that so many times why we do it like this because you will learn a lot better because this media soup thing is kind of confusing um but you know if you if we clear all the step up uh, we should be fine okay uh, let's go down here create a new case okay and break this guy <clears throat> okay what we need to do here so one uh, we need to call it make a function okay remember our um, naming convention okay we do it like this <clears throat> okay same thing pass the events and the websocket down okay now let's do it on top eh? the newest one we put on top so you know we all organized on subscribe and we need this to be async okay and we want the event to be a string okay and our web socket the type is web socket okay cool now let's do a try catch here uh, what we're trying here is we're going to create a transport it's really similar okay to the what do you call it um the 
producer the on produce okay really similar we need to create a uh, web rtc transport which is you know we've we've made this function already okay we, we uh, we're using it okay and we're going to pass the router across okay and we're going to destruct this okay what we're interested in is a transport and in the params okay remember it's exactly the same okay basically uh, essentially okay and now we're going to go consume consumer transport okay we need to make this variable at the top as well i don't believe we made it consume transport okay no we haven't okay we will go up there okay let's do this consume transport and the type is transport <clears throat> i hope i cleared it uh, i explain it clear enough okay i'm always worried you know that i lose lose you okay uh, it shouldn't do because i try to do it step by step okay all we need to do is we need to send it back this okay so we go sub transport created okay and we're gonna pass the params back now client side time <laughs> go back to client side now let's do, do we copy that first let's copy that so we don't do any typo and then we'll probably spend hours trying to find you know what we've done wrong here so copy and paste is our friend okay so now we're going to create this okay we go up here where's our case oh, right here all right make a new case with this okay so we're going to on same no naming convention okay so we understand what's going on here okay resp resp okay we're gonna pass that down now we're gonna make this function down the bottom let's do it here right Comments. okay we're gonna do that we expect a event okay so now we're gonna do some error checking okay if event error dot error if you if we have any errors uh, we won't do anything we'll console error okay we shouldn't get this but uh, it's a good habit to do this so on sub transport create it create error okay and we just print out the error now we do our business down here all we need to do is we go cons transport okay device remember this really similar okay create uh we're not on type script so we better copy and paste this uh it's create receive transport okay and that that is one of the function in the device um from media soup client okay and all we need to do is put that in there okay data in there and then we're doing really similar to this okay we, we're actually doing the same thing by the way okay so what we need to do is we we need to start listening um to our consume okay so transport on remember all this very much the same okay when it's on connect we destruct the dtls parameters okay from like above like after we um uh, what do you call it in here after we put it into our device okay then we will get this variable in this transport okay that's how we get this if you're wondering what well, where do i get that okay i'm not sure if i explained it in the last one but that's what it is okay and we have a callback and an error back okay that's the api all right from media suit client okay the moment we uh receive this connect okay uh the server sends us back saying okay cool we've got something ready for you and now you can connect so that's what we're going to do now okay we're going to go do another message here uh we send it back and we'll call this connect consumer transport okay the, the client and the server will not connect without us sending this back to the server saying okay we're ready uh, our client accept what you sent us 
and we're going to send you back the transport ID and also the DTLS parameters then the two gets connected okay that's essentially what that means so we'll call this transport ID okay and we get that from the transport.id all right and then we're just going to pass that DTLS params okay and then we're going to stringify as usual okay message equals json dot stringify msg now socket dot send resp oh no sorry we'll call it message by the way um all this is uh, based on uh, a static starting kit i made um you know a few while ago um at all this code is in that starting starter kit okay or uh, you can get that uh, uh, in the descriptions okay um, and one more thing we need to do a callback here as well okay okay uh, we will uh, put a to do here okay we'll, we'll do that um, after we do the server um, side uh, because we need to decide you know what the event name is okay so let's move on to the server side and do the um, this one here okay let's go to the server side okay uh, maybe a second let me have a look okay first of all we need to add this event let's do it after this one here eh? okay Oops. same convention okay uh, let's change to a capital same jazz okay even same pass the socket down as well okay I'll copy that um, let's do it on the top cons that async and we want the events as a string and ws oops whip sockets whip socket okay and we'll arrow function okay and here is fairly simple okay because we already have this uh consumer transport already i think let's have a look i think we might have to write yep we have that already so consumer transport dot connect okay we destructure the um uh, event uh sorry not the event uh, we, we want to put the dt uh what is it dtls params okay I will copy that and we expect that from the events and DTLS params okay what's that saying default does not assist as a string okay I think we have to put that any because I think that's an object or some type okay all right and then we're going to uh, send back to the client uh, saying uh, we're ready okay we're done Okay, once we have that, so whip socket, same thing. Uh, let's call this sub connected, okay? Then we go back to the client and do it. Put a message, but it doesn't really matter. We're not doing anything with um, this one. So we'll just go consumer transport connected, okay? That message is just for us, okay? So now we have to go back to our client and make this, okay? Let's go up here. Uh, okay let's do it in here we have to do another listen okay like what we've done um, down here somewhere right here okay what I'll do is I'll put that there and let's go down and copy this because essentially the same thing okay what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna copy all this part because pretty much the same thing okay paste that paste that there grab that okay instead of this we go here okay <clears throat> I hope you clear uh, what we up to now okay so uh, after we do that uh, we need to do a callback as well so what we need to do oh same thing we pretty much did, did that already so we'll just go uh, give out give us a log okay so sub you know, consumer uh, transport connected okay that's just for us to see you know that is actually done all right so we are done on this one okay this on events 
for um, soon as the what you call it soon as the transport is connected okay we send this back to the server and then the server connects the transport together okay that's what we're essentially doing okay uh, same as uh, what we're doing what we've done down here as well on the on the produce okay when we do the publish we're doing the same you know same sort of thing okay so we're just repeating with the subscription okay or consumer okay and the media soup case all right the next events we need to do uh this is the final part okay once we do this i think we can do some testing and if it works then we're done okay all right let's carry on what we're going to listen this time is called connection state change okay let's paste that in and we want it as an async and we will see a state okay and a function same thing as down here all right we've done this once once already with the uh, right here this is to tell you know when we actually get the um you know what ha what's happening with the transport or the peer connection okay in our case we call it okay so now what we're going to do is we have to do another switch um thingy <laughs> and we compare the state okay that we get back get, get from this event okay the first case we will see is connecting okay when it's connecting what do we want to do okay what we want to do is we want to do a text okay and uh, html equals subscribing or consuming but hey let's do subscribing eh? so we know what same thing all right and the next case we want to listen is when it's connected obviously okay hold on let's go and do a break here eh, before we forget it uh if we don't do this break uh for those who don't know if we don't do this this break it will keep on going on the switch okay it will go to the next one regardless that's why we it's important you know not to forget about the um break here okay so once we are connected we grab the remote oh, sorry remote video okay that element we defined it already src object okay equals remote stream okay all right and then we need to send a message saying um we need to send a a, a message to resume it okay because the reason is uh by default okay media suit will pause the um what do you call it the the stream okay we need to send it and say you know tell them to please play our stream okay that's what we're doing so what we're gonna do is do a message we'll call it msg eh? okay try really simple okay resume we're going we will move to the um uh, server to write that in a second okay message equals json stringify okay that's what we're doing stringify that should be pretty good by now eh? doing all this and then socket but send our message okay and let's do a feedback on our text uh, subscribe and html equals subscribe subscribe okay done and let's go and do this resume thing uh, i'm pretty sure that's the last one uh, that we need to go back to the server okay the server is practically done oops sorry about that yeah vs code going crazy okay let's uh, go here and let's go oh we've got break here see we have to do it like while we remember it eh another one case let's do it now break and on we resume w oh. resume the auto complete is awesome but hey you know you get this sometimes okay what we need to write for resume let's go here see the way we do this you feel more control thank you because we're doing every step well obviously if you in charge writing the whole app yourself then is definitely the way to go all right so you don't forget stuff events let's do it any eh? because for our purpose is not a typescript tutorial so 
Uh, let's do that. You know, our point is to make this work, okay? Uh, what's going on here? On resume equals. Okay, we'll ignore that for a sec. Um, we'll see if we can fix that in a second. Okay, what do we need to do a resume? Uh, really, really easy, okay? What we need to do is wait. Consumer. Consumer. Okay, remember we got. Uh, okay, hold on a sec. I think we haven't done this yet. Let me check. Okay, no, we don't have consumer yet up here. Yeah, we need to do that. Let's consumer. Uh, consumer. Okay, from Media Soup. Okay, we'll take that out. I don't know why that is there. <clears throat> okay, consumer comes from the Media Soup type. Right, cool. Let's go down here. Zoom. Okay, here we go. Consumer dot resume. Pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, hold on a second. And then we don't actually need these, eh? Um, these events. Okay, why don't we get rid of them? Because we we don't need we we don't need to know any of these. Oh, we need the socket though. Sorry. Uh, let's do that. Ws we socket. Okay, we we need that because we need to send the stuff back. Uh, so we go ws dot no, sorry send pass the web socket across resumed and give us a ourselves a message resumed okay almost there almost there guys uh, let's have a look now we need to go back our client to make this resume function okay uh, actually it does nothing but we'll, we'll do one you know to, to console lock that you know our thing is done okay what we're going to do is go up here a good practice would you know separate all all of these you know don't put in one file because it look at this you know it's just makes makes to find anything uh really difficult because the file gets pretty big now you know and we're only writing a really simple app <laughs> Imagine you're writing a production uh, with RTC, you know, a full on conference thing, you know. Okay, let's console log the, the event, event.data, okay. We don't actually need this because this does nothing, okay. We just need to know uh, it's done, okay. That's what, what we sort of um, doing, like the server has unpaused the stream, okay, and comes back to the UI. Okay, but of course, and can on a real production app, you can do something with it. Okay, but not not in our case. Okay, okay, let's have a look what we got next. Resumed. Okay, let's go back. Where are we? Where are we? There. Sorry, let's find it. Where are we? Ah, oh, here we go. On the consume. Um, we need to break here. Okay, we've got to break again. Oh no, no, we haven't. Sorry, uh, one more event, and let's go and do some testing, okay? <clears throat> this one here is a case for fail, okay? What happens if it fails? Fail there, okay? So we go transport.close, okay? If it fail, let's close it, okay? And then we go, go give the user some feedback, okay? Your thing didn't work, okay? And the... Uh, HTML equals failed. All right, and now uh, let's undisable it so um, so the user has another go. All right, before he calls you, disabled. Go false. Okay, we'll give them uh, what do you call it? Uh, give them the thing back. Okay, one last thing before we cut this off is stream we forgot, we forgot to do that okay that's what if you're wondering uh we already um hold on a second okay here we go that's where we handle the stream okay because remember we put that here we there's actually nothing okay we need to handle it with um the following function we're about to write now okay so what we're going to do is we're going to const stream okay it will be consume dot uh, no not dot consume uh, transport okay okay we're just we're just passing on we, we're going to make a function for this 
called consume okay that's what we're doing and this is the last part okay sorry this is really dragging on isn't it you know this video uh, uh, took me two days okay to get it right uh, because I get a I get really dizzy after a while because of the amount of code of it okay uh, we expecting a transport okay which is this guy here okay and then do our little arrow function okay and we destruct the RTP capabilities okay from our device okay uh, because we've created the device already okay that's why we have that okay and now uh, sorry I lie we got one more function to write in the function uh, on the server in okay is the create consumer okay uh, so the whole normal buzz message or MSG prepare our uh, message to send to our server okay and the type for this is call consume okay and we're going to pass our RTP capabilities okay that we destruct destruct here okay uh, same buzz uh, stringing for stringify this uh, MSG okay now send it socket send e message cool I think um, we've pretty much done on the client side now uh, for sure okay this is the last um, function so now we go to the server side and we're going to create um, this consume thingy okay once we've done that we can do testing if it works we're done <laughs> and we'll move on to flutter or dart um, next okay I'm quite excited okay I've been writing the code um, during the weekend as well uh, and it's going to be an awesome series okay because you'll be learning how to write dart uh, the whole stack with dart like even the signal server which is uh, pretty awesome I, I quite like it you know like from coming from uh, JavaScript there's a lot of similarity um, I promise you it's if you don't know uh, flutter you'll love it because it's almost like TypeScript but better I think it's better consume okay and same thing consume ah geez sorry events with socket let's break this eh while we remember final function guys are we ready to test <laughs> okay on consume async event any ws web socket okay watch out for the casing eh, for this guys just a little reminder because web socket i think we've got some variable that is lowercase so if you write that uh, you will find some strange issues that you probably can't oh probably take you out you know hours to find what is going on you know what the thing is okay now we're going to create consumer okay now we haven't we haven't got this function so I lied we got a bit more to do okay we need to create this function okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it on this file okay I can't be bothered going to another file to do that right now okay let's do do it here um, okay hold on a second yep let's do it down here okay this is create consumer is like create um, it's same as when we publish remember we we've done a function that we produce okay so now what we're doing now is we're doing the same thing but in reverse okay so every time we someone consumes okay we need to call this function to get the details of um, you know what's going uh, what stream or who's publishing and we need to forward them the stream from this okay this is what this is what this function is for okay so we need an async uh, we need to pass in the producer oh, we don't really but uh, I'm gonna show you this way because the producer remember it's a global value we, we shouldn't have to do that but if you move this file onto uh, this function onto a different file you definitely need this okay so we're gonna do it the proper way it doesn't affect it it will work either way okay if you're lazy don't don't put this and just call producer down there it will still work because we had it as a global um, value uh, RTP uh, capabilities okay and RTP cap that's the type that's the type we want 
a little arrow function okay this function is is pretty long okay bear with me I promise it won't take too much longer media soup router dot can consume okay we're just checking if this guy is you know got is capable of consuming our um uh, what do you call it our rtp capability like all the codecs and stuff okay because we we will know that when they pass in from the client remember we're just sending the this request from the client side so now we're just checking okay that's what we're doing okay and we'll pass oh, juicer dot id okay we're comparing and rtp capabilities okay all right almost there guys and if it's not then we do hold on give me a moment okay yep it's okay so we got one two yeah these brackets are confusing just making sure you know we've got the right things going on there mm, okay i think we'll look better like this put that on and then oh, that doesn't look right okay that looks better okay we're going to console log the error console error not console log cannot consume okay if they can't consume we return this and then return okay we're going to cut it off don't go any further return okay i think that's the error checking and let's go down there we're going to do a try catch okay try catch okay what we're going to do is we're going to cons make a um we grab the consumer we have it as global okay equals that consumer transport we create that already and we'll go consume with the following details what we're consuming okay producer id and it's producer.id that's what we're passing in okay we will get that from the client rtp capabilities okay and what else do we need pause the producer.kind video okay that's what that's why we paused it and uh, because the last function we wrote we actually skipped we should have done this first and it, make, it will make more sense okay because uh, media suit recommends we pause the video okay uh, when when we um what do you call it initially get this detail and then resume it once it's connected okay that that's the reason okay we should have moved on to this before we um write the res resume okay this function comes before resume okay i'm just making sure you know okay and let's consult error i'm sorry if i talk too much but i want to make sure everyone get the value of this okay rather than just watch another you know uh, stupid video you know you know what i mean um it just makes more sense if you understand it so please get bear with me oops oh where's redo i always forget the redo um shortcut eh? oh no redo okay let's type that again then Console error uh, consume failed. Put a space there so we can see our thing better. I hate these auto completions, eh? Honestly, <laughs> but hey, that helps sometimes. And then return. Okay, we want, we don't want to go any further if this if this error. Okay, that's basically what we're doing. And then one more, one more, one more. Okay, where are we? Okay, if consume mer type uh, let's not put similar cars okay because we, we're not doing that so I'm gonna skip that because I have it in my starter kit okay um, but we're not actually using um, similar cars okay maybe uh, in the future <clears throat> we'll look into that okay so that's everything uh, what we're gonna do um, is return all the stuff we um, we prepare up here okay for those who don't know what semi cars is please google it um what it is is be, uh to save bandwidth okay that that's the reason to have uh semi cars because you you can have um multiple um 
what do you call it, resolution of the same video. So for example, if one of your user has really poor internet, they will choose uh, like a lower resolution. Um, resolution uh, stream to stream on, okay, then that means they can see your video clearly, okay, that's what Simulcast is, okay, we're not going to go into that, uh, that's a really advanced topic, okay, we, we'll look at that in the future, but not now, alright, so we're going returning all the stuff back, okay, from the consumer right now, kind, okay, the kind, if, uh, for those who don't know, it means uh, if it's a video or audio, okay, that's what kind is, I'm, going to, I'm just going to copy and paste these, eh? All right, so that's what we're returning back, okay? All of these, okay? And where do we get this? We get it from here, okay? So we create, we consume, and we're putting in all the details, okay? That we pass from the client, uh, the client side, okay? Okay, now we're going to go back up um, to the top, and we're going to go and use, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we're going to go up and use this function we just created. Okay, so we go back to our. Okay, I'm going to search. Uh, I'm getting a headache watching this. Zoom. Oh, what line is it? Oh, line 62. Okay, I try to run it uh, when I pause the video. Uh, there we go. So we we need to continue on this. So we want a wait and then create consumer. Look, we have create consumer now, <laughs> and we're gonna pass in the producer okay that is the global value okay we got producers all lined up in there okay and we've got to pass the events.rtp capabilities okay that's what he expects down there okay once that is done uh, we're going to send it back to the client okay send ws and we call this subscribed okay Oh, better not do that. That might not work. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm using double quotes and single quotes. I noticed that. It's a really, really bad habit. But uh, it's JavaScript, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> if you use uh, languages like um, Go, uh, this will give you um, major issues. Because if it's a string, uh, they expect to be double quotes. You can't use single quotes. Anyway, we're on JavaScript, so we're good. <laughs> okay, now we go to go back to our client and deal with the last events okay okay now we go back to our client uh sorry i skipped a little bit um uh, so we go here we go back to our client now okay don't get confused okay we're in client now in the future i think if i do this type of tutorial i will download that extension that we have colors so you don't get all confused okay so what we need to do now we need to do our last thingy okay last case subscribed okay uh, once uh, remember the server will send back all sorts of um, you know like the ID uh, down here I'll show you okay hi this we're getting all this stuff back and we need to put that into a stream and in, in client side okay which what we are gonna do now and this is the final part I promise you it is the final part okay so now let's continue and I, I can see why you know um, nobody does media suit tutorials it's just um, you know <laughs> too detail uh, it's really con time consuming okay I kind of regret when I do it um, but anyway I think this will help a lot of you um, you know to get started at least you won't be an expert but you know at least you will know uh, the basics okay and we're gonna pass down the um, response okay because we're lazy on this one we didn't uh, what do you call it we we put us the whip socket on a global um, valuable okay it's not a good practice okay so don't do this okay but for our um, purpose okay my main aim is to get you to understand at least you can get started you know with media soup okay this this is the point of the, um, this tutorial okay async and we want the, uh, we'll call it events eh, on here so we keep everything look the same okay now let's destruct those um those guys okay we expecting it back from the response data okay we oh, we'll call it event here data okay and i'm gonna copy this sorry um i'm always afraid doing typos okay so we want the producer id the id the kind and the rtp okay 
uh, these two are the really important ones uh, because the RTP parameters has all the WebRTC stuff there. Okay. And here, we're not going to worry about the codec option, okay, but we will put an empty um, object, okay, because we need to pass that in. Okay, now we're going to consume um, this guy here now. Consumer uh, weight consume transport, okay, dot consume. We're putting all the the stuff we get back from the server into our client, okay, that's what we're doing here. And really, we're just putting all this into here, okay, plus this um, codec options, all right. Now, once we do that, and uh, we prepare our stream, okay, that's how we make a new media stream, okay, in JavaScript, okay, this is a standard uh, JavaScript API, okay, nothing fancy. Once we create it, okay, we add track, we add the track into this, okay, and it's consumer dot track, okay, now we, we put, we're putting the, the stream we get back from the server, from the SFU, and we're putting, uh, we're creating a track, okay, and then we're putting the consume track, which is our consumer track, consumer is this, and we're putting that, that, that track into on into the add track then we can play it okay now remote stream okay that's where the magic happens okay when we do that okay equals stream okay and the stream is uh, this guy here okay we create a new object basically or a new media stream and then we're gonna add track from what we get back from the server okay that's that's the logic of this all right, uh, I believe this is it. Okay, uh, let's go go and do some testing. Okay, uh, before we go and do the testing, I'll notice a few um, little issues. Okay, typo in here. Uh, it was like this. Okay, yes, I tried to run it uh, when I turn off the um, video because we wrote a lot of code, so I didn't want to run it um, before I show you. Okay, it was like this. Okay, uh, and we're going to get rid of this and take that extra bracket out. Okay, that's one of the issues I spotted. Sorry about that. And another one is a typo. Okay, on here, these two, uh, I, I had a typo for some reason. Okay, put that back. And one more typo down the bottom. Sorry, I fail my English, eh? Obviously. <laughs> Sorry about that, but at least I picked it up um, fairly quickly. Uh, the another issue we had here is our code deck. Uh, if you look at your code, if you've been following, um, right, let me have a look. I think in the future I will run it um, while I'm recording so we can fix the um, little bugs together because now I'm trying to find it to show you, otherwise, you never run, be able to run your copy that you trying to run. Okay, uh, down here, bear with me, uh, you will find it. It's down the bottom where. <coughs> Okay, on subscribe, on pub, maybe a second, I'll find it. It's our local stream thing, okay? Let's have a look, local stream. Oh, remote stream, sorry. Remote stream. This part here, I spell code that options wrong, okay? So if you correct that, um, you should be able to run it, okay? Uh, I think that was the little glitch. Um, it was um, interfering our code to be run, okay? And that is it, um, guys. This is Media Soup. Um, how many lines we wrote? Damn, we wrote uh, three, 325 uh, on the client side and on the server side, is massive as well. <laughs> uh, not too bad, 181. The worker, uh, we wrote, we wrote a, f a bit of JavaScript, uh, honestly. Um, all right, let's time to test it. Okay, uh, kick up the server. All right, the server's up and running. I'm going to turn off the video, okay? I mean the audio, otherwise we get that, you know, horrible uh, echo again. Okay, we'll put it on the headphones, okay? Uh, I remember this time. Okay, and go yarn start. All right, I'll bring that into our screen. Let's grab two of them. Okay, since this is, you know, two pairs. Let's go publish the camera. All right, cool. You see my two little ducks there. And here, we will subscribe. All right, cool. Works as expected, eh? And let's publish back our screen to our other side, eh? Let's do that. Uh, I will 
do it on my other screen okay so all right cool we got our screen going this side we need to hit um, subscribe okay to prove that screen work uh, let's do this let's do it in half eh all right see that look at that all working guys all right i hope you have learned something from this i definitely has i learn uh, i have improved my english <laughs> now I, I can spell on subscribe now anyway uh that's a joke sorry if it's not funny but um uh if you like looking to get into media soup i do have a premium um, starter kit um available which is a full fully optional okay it's got everything on it it's uh, mini to mini okay i will put that in the description and in the comment below um uh, if you for my subscribers okay i will give you a hundred dollars off um because uh, i had it originally 2.99 because that thing took uh, really long to build it took um almost two weeks you know to build so the price was 2.99 um uh, to to all my um you know audience i will give you a hundred dollars off um for the next uh let's say the next 30 days okay uh, i will put the link down below all right thanks very much and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um i will do many more this type of uh, tutorial I'm not sure about media soup but um we'll look at it um definitely uh, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more and thanks very much we'll see you the next one. Oh, by the way the next one will be dart and flutter okay i'm really excited about that stack okay we're going to write everything in dart and yes it is going to be a mini to mini all right so you have one codebase you have a desktop you have a mobile and you have a website okay isn't that cool isn't it you just do the work once and you have multi-platform covered all right we'll see you hopefully tomorrow because maybe not tomorrow because i need to finish up a few little things before i do it but um also my 30 days challenge we have a bit of delay unfortunately uh sorry about that i've been busy myself and also this media soup um tutorial has taken me a lot longer than i thought originally apologize and we will definitely do everything as i list it okay but maybe not matching the dates but uh, bear with me and i like to apologize and thanks for your support and we'll see you tomorrow